Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Emma. How are you? Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Happy good evening, evening, teacher. Good evening, Cecilia. Let's check. Uh, happy, Emma, porque terminó la platform, ¿verdad? <laughs> Yes, solo me falta mi certificado. Excellent, very good. Pero encontró el botoncito para el certificado. Eh, pues no, no me he sentado todavía a buscarlo. <risa> All right, don't worry, pero le va a aparecer. Yeah. A veces eh, toma un tiempito, pero siempre se los envían, right? Ah, ok, ok. Very good, excellent, Emma. Entonces mañana Emma me va a ayudar a hacer el examen. <risa> All right, no, just kidding. <risa> y usted, mañana no me cumple. All right, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. How are you, Miss Rodriguez? I fine, teacher. Excellent. Very good to hear you. What about Nerio? How are you, Nerio? Fine, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Miren, les voy a explicar algo. Creo que no se va a escuchar, pero. Si en dado caso ustedes si escucharon un ruidito, es mi tía, right? <laughs> no es otro ruido, es mi tía que está sonando bien raro. Pero that's it. All right, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. Let's get started. We got the grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. I know that yesterday we practiced with this. And also, I believe that you form your questions, right? If you remember, today we are going to continue practice with it because this is a topic that easily that easily we can forget about, right? Es un tema que aunque ya lo hayamos practicado con otros con otro vocabulary, fácilmente lo podríamos olvidar cómo formular esas questions. Entonces tenemos que practicarlo muchísimo, right? Y como ya solo nos quedan tres días de clase. You need to practice with me quite a lot. All right, let's check everybody. We got the questions and we got the answers. Voy a hacer la pronunciation yo, por si en dado caso se nos olvidó cómo se pronuncia algo. Lo voy a hacer, pay attention, and then you will practice, okay? What sports do you play? I play hockey. No nos olvidemos, esta es hockey, no hockey, all right? Hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? With. I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once. No olviden, aquí no es once, all right? Aquí es once or twice. Once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, my friends, let's get ready. Let's go with Cecilia Romero. You ask, usted pregunta, Cecilia, and Emma, you answer. Action. Okay, okay. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Where do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Very good, excellent. No mistakes. And you remember the pronunciation perfectly. Right. That's music for my ears. Let's go with Miss Rodriguez. You ask. Marvin Soriano, you answer. Action. What do 
What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. What do you do? No. What do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We, part, we practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's correct. Excellent. Very good fluency, you guys. Excellent. Very good. I'm proud of you. Let's go with the next one. Aha, uh -huh. we have Carla Abdego. Hello, Carlita. Hello, hello. I missed you. Where were you? <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Let's check, Carla. You ask. Usted pregunta en Flor de María, you answer. Usted contesta. Okay. Action. Okay. Okay. Yo pregunto, dijo va. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. 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 Hey, what? I, I decir hello, you. <laughs> um, what sport do you play? I play hockey and basketball. Who do, who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? Yeah. We play a uh, Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or once or twice. One or twice. A week. A week. Hello. When do you? Lo siento, lo siento. Es sí, mi hijo. Yeah. Está diciendo hello. It's good, it's good. It's excellent. Que está ahí a la par de usted. Very good. When do you practice? We, pract no. We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Very good job, girls. Thank you. Let's see, Flor, repeat after me. Sundays. Sunday. Sundays. Uh-huh. In the Himmel, once. Once. Or twice. Or twice. Or twice. Very good. Now let's go with everyone. Les voy a hacer una suggestion. Sí, una sugerencia over here. Esta palabra, yo no sé si ustedes la sentirán que puede costarles el who. Right? El who. Solo imagínense literalmente eso, everybody. Who equals who. En la pronunciation. All right? Para que no me digan who o who. All right? Sino que me digan who. ¿Cómo es la pronunciation? Otra palabra que podría llegar a costarnos es how. Yo siempre les voy a recomendar that for English language, you open your mouth. A veces en español nosotros no hablamos muy claro, right? Y eso nos pasa a todos. Los Salvadorians o Latin Americans, a todos nos pasa, right? Que no abrimos muy bien la boca para hablar en español. Pero en el caso del inglés, como somos learners, como somos aprendices, tenemos que hacerlo, right? En este caso, how. How often do you practice? How. Así no se nos olvida la pronunciation. Very good. Let me go with another pair, the last pair. Let's have Alexis Valmore. You ask. Usted pregunta, Alexis. And Raquel Santos, you answer. Action. What sport do you play? I play hockey and bas baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. Uh, we have a team. 
Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. Hello, Alexis, are you there? Say hello. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. Your microphone, Balmure. Mr. Perez, your microphone se le apagó. Se, se, me desconectó el, se me desconectó el Zoom. Me boicotearon. Estaba en, how often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Very good, excellent. Thank you guys, very good uh, effort. Excellent, I don't have any mistakes. I didn't notice any mistakes in the pronunciation, right? Yo no puedo notar ningún error, Alexis and Raquel. So that's great. Let's go. Let's move on everybody. Vamos a mover. All right, <laughs> let's check. And Yesenia Vasquez. Jesus, everybody, when you get into the class, your microphones. <laughs> All right, let's go, Yesenia. W A. Uh, how do you say yo? Vaya, guión es dash, pero el dash no se pronuncia, solo se dice WH word. What? No sé si me escuchó. El cómo? Guión se pronuncia no. dash en inglés. O dash. 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 Exacto, dash. Pero como aquí es okay. una unión, decimos. WH word, nada más. No escuché. Exactly, exactly. Yes, yes, All right. And el plus. Tal vez por este signo era que me preguntaba Yesenia plus. Give me check. Es uh, WH. I think that maybe the microphone is failing, Yesenia. Creo que el microphone le está fallando, right? Porque se le apagó. Maybe, that's it. But don't worry, usted siempre participa, así que tal vez durante la clase me participo. Let's go with somebody else. Um, let me check. Beatriz Campos, tell me the structure, please. WH word plus do um, or does plus subject plus verb plus complement plus Question mark. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you. Now, everybody, let's check this one. WH word. You know which are the WH words. Emma, tell me three WH words, please. Dígame tres WHs. Where, what, who. Who. Excellent. Marvin, tell me three, another three WH words. Otras tres, Marvin. 
when, when, how, and which. Which, very good. Which, yo no les he traído esa lista a ustedes de las WH words porque ya la vieron ustedes en el level one, right? Pero which se encuentra ahí en esa lista, all right? Excellent, thank you, Marvin. Now, those are the words that you are going to use to create questions. Esas son las palabras que utilizamos para crear preguntas. Aparte de llamar las WH questions, también se les llama information questions. <clears throat> Porque en estas preguntas no vamos a decir solo yes or no. Tenemos que brindarle más información a la persona. Porque para eso la están haciendo. All right, si alguien me pregunta, where do you live? All right. Eh, si alguien me pregunta, where do you live? Yo no puedo decir, yes, I live. All right. No, yo digo, I live in la, 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 la. Right. Y ya le digo la dire direction. Now, let's go with the guiding examples. Let's see, Ce Cecilia Romero, number one and two, please. Okay. Number one. What sport does Unicy play? Excellent, very good. Number two, also Romero, Miss Romero. Tú también. Yes. Number two. Ah, yes. Perdón. No se preocupe. Number two. Who do you play tennis with? Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Alexis Hurtado, three and four, please. Yeah, that's when he play. Uh -huh. uh, how? Uh, how often do they practice? Excellent. Very good. Thank you, guys. All right. Those are the examples that I have. Esos son los ejemplos que tenemos para las WH questions. Miren, está bien basic, bien sencillo. Solo no adquirido nuevo vocabulary. ¿De qué era el vocabulary que aprendimos ayer? Um, let me check. Cecilia Rodríguez, ¿de qué era el vocabulario que aprendimos ayer? Frequency. Frequency. Mm. Uh, frequency. No era de sports. Um, sports. Yes. Spring. Zoom. Basketball. Dancing. Exactly. Very good. Swimming. Mm -hmm. So, very good. There you have it. Ahí lo tienen, all right? Como mencionó ella, miren, hasta el topic está en, si entraron a ver la recording de ayer, ahí tiene el topic, all right? Sports and seasons. Okay, deportes y temporadas. Porque hablábamos de las temporadas y qué deportes se hacen en cada temporada. So there you have it, guys. Lo que quiero que vean es que con la diversity de vocabulary que ustedes tienen, pueden crear mucho contenido, right? Y son capaces de hacerlo, yo lo he notado. So, aquí tienen estos examples. Let's go with the next one. Ahora, viene una estructura que no es complicada, solo es diferente, all right? Who plus do or does plus subject plus verb and noun plus with. Lo que esta estructura quiere es que utilicen el who. Si vamos a hacer uso del who, lo utilizamos al principio. Y vamos a terminar nuestra question, nuestra pregunta con el with. Aquí de hecho le hace falta algo. El question mark. All right. Teacher, pero y el who que no es parte de las WH, no debería llevar la misma estructura que las demás. Yes, it's part of the WH. Pero tiene, tiene una estructura diferente. All right. Debido a su pronunciation y debido a lo que significa, tiene una estructura diferente. Now, if you take notes of this one, si están tomando nota de ese structure, me avisan cuando finalicen, please. Now, let me ask you, ahora yo les pregunto. 
do you have any questions so far about the structures or the use? Tienen alguna duda de las estructuras? Yes, Raquel. Yo tengo una. O sea que la clave para, para que el with vaya de último, por último en una oración, eh, tiene que ser who o no Exacto. siempre. Es sí. que el who, okay. el who es para preguntar quién, right? Entonces, uh -huh. cuando usted utiliza el with, es con quién. With. Ah, exactamente. Uh -huh. Entonces, okay. solamente Gracias. esta es la única excepción que tenemos, Raquel. Right? Ok. Ok. Very good. Now, let's check the sentences. Then, adentro de esta estructura tenemos otra excepción. Right? Let's check. Um, Marvin, please. Question number one and two. Okay. Who does Martin play basketball with? Who do you practice with? Mm -hmm, exactly. And Flor de Maria, number three, please. With whom? Who do, who do you practice, practice with? Number three. Week one does one play. Thank you, Florcita. Excellent. Thank you. Guys, let's check this one. Cuando yo les decía que había otra exception, no va a tener una estructura diferente, all right? Pueden imaginarse la estructura, pero en el video no les da la estructura de eso. Simplemente van a iniciar con el with y van a agregar whom, all right? ¿Por qué no hay una estructura concisa de esto? Porque no es muy utilizado. No hay ningún mistake. Quiero hacer la aclaración. No hay ningún error con utilizar esa, ese tipo de el with whom. Right? Lo van a ver en grandes libros de professionals. Van a ver ese with whom. No hay ningún problema. Solo que no es muy usado. Right? No todos logran eh, manejarlo bien. Y no está en un contexto diario. Basically pero tienen que saberlo, porque en algún momento de su vida se van a encontrar con ese whom, right? con ese with whom. Entonces tenemos que conocerlo, por eso se los ponen a ustedes en el video. Let me check. Yes, Valmore, I can see you. I see your message. I see everything that you send. I was just avoiding you. So sorry, no, no, just kidding. No, I was just, I get really into the business, everybody, when explaining. Solo que me gusta centrarme mucho en la explicación que les doy porque los puedo confundir. All right? Puedo decir algo que quizás no sea, entonces por eso me enfoco en la explanation that I'm giving, en la explicación que les estoy dando. Pero yo le voy a contestar a Alex. All right? Now, let's move on, everybody. Emma, do me a favor, please. La práctica que tuvimos ayer, Emma, fue con las WH questions. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Exactly. One, one sentence I made. You made three, right? One, one sentence. One sentence. No, but the mm -hmm. one that we had yesterday, la que tuvimos ayer, era con las WH. Yes. All right. Ah, pues ya no lo voy a poner a hacer eso. <laughs> one sentence. All right. Mayra, do you have a question? Sí, ¿por qué se le agregó esa M a, a who? Whom significa lo mismo, whom. solo que cuando vamos a utilizar el with al principio, vamos mm -hmm. a tener que utilizar el whom. Ok, gracias. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent, very good. Excellent, you guys. Entonces, si ya con esto, it's very clear, let's go to the can and can't. Let's see, we have a conversation. I can't sing. No puedo cantar. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. I'll do it one more time. Lo voy a hacer una vez más. Escuchen 
La pronunciation smoothly. Escúchenla con mucho cuidado. Y traten de llevar un ritmo ustedes al momento de hablar. Right? Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. <laughs> okay, very dynamic. I want to hear you guys. I want to hear you like a real life setting. Quiero escucharlos. Aunque ustedes sientan que les pueda costar, traten de darle un ritmo a la conversation, right? Ya vamos a finalizar esta semana. Creo que esta es la única practice de conversation que tenemos, entonces tratemos de aprovecharla. So, let's get started with Carla Abrego, you are Kayla, usted va a ser Kayla, and Néstor Amilcar, you are Philip. Action. Espérame que no veo, hoy sí. Oh, look. Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can sing at at all but i can play the piano so maybe we can enter the concert sure we not okay let's practice tomorrow excellent very good you guys for a moment all right excellent me metí en el papel very good that's the that's the thing eso es lo que quiero que hagan all right Ya que tal vez no todos tengan la posibilidad de practicar con alguien outside of the classroom, afuera del classroom, pueden hacerlo aquí, all right? Métanse en ese papel, les va a ayudar. Uno, en su self-confidence, en confianza en ustedes mismos, y dos, a que les salga mejor la pronunciación. All right, excellent, thank you. Let's go with the next pair. Let's check. Catherine Pamela, you are Kayla. Raquel Santos, you are Philip. Action. Hello, Miss. Hello, <laughs> welcome. Can you repeat, please? Yes, you are Kayla. Usted va a ser Kayla. Okay. Oh, look, there is a talent content on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent concert. What, what can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all, but I can the plan. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent, thank you girls, very good. Excellent, good pronunciation. I also have to say that, okay, let me tell you, ese thanks le salió tan smoothly, tan natural, right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> all right, excellent. Yes, everybody. A veces cuesta que salga ese thanks natural, right? Sino que se nos siente un poquito el lo, lo fuerte and that's okay. No problem. Pero si les sale bonito, igual les voy a hacer saber. <laughs> Let's go with another pair. Cecilia Romero, you are Kayla. Marvin Soriano, you are Philip. Action. Okay. Oh, look. There's a talent cons. And Saturday, let's enter. I can't enter talent concert. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the concert. Sure, we not. Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent, very good, very good. Enthusiasm and rhythm. 
un excelente entusiasmo y un buen ritmo, everybody. Thank you, Marvin and Cecilia. Thank Let's you, go teacher. with Miss Rodríguez. Cecilia Rodríguez, you are Kayla. Emma, you are Philip. Action. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. Cecilia Rodríguez. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too? Oh, no, I can't think at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest? Sure. Why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Bravo, excellent. Uh -huh. Good rhythm, fluency, and pronunciation. Both of you, ambas. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with the next one. Alexis Hurtado, you are Philip. Mayra, you are Kayla. Action. Oh, oh look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. What you can't do? Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the concert. Pero we can move you. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Excellent, there you have it. Let's practice tomorrow. Bravo, you guys. Thank you. Let's go with Yesenia Vasquez. You are Kayla. Usted va a ser Kayla, Yesenia. Eh, Beatriz Campos, usted no ha pasado todavía, ¿verdad? <laughs> no. No. All right. You are Philip. Action. <clears throat> okay. Oh, look. There is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I cannot enter talent contest. What can you? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can sing uh, at all, but I can keep no. Oh no, I can sing. I can sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter that concert. Sure. Why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Yay, excellent, very good. Thank you, girls. Now, let me go with Alexis Balmore. You are Philip, usted va a ser Philip, y déjenme, voy a buscar una Kayla. Catherine, no, Catherine ya pasó. Let me check. I don't have more girls. Okay, so Alexis Balmore, you are you are Philip and Rene Portillo, you are Kayla. Action. Uh -huh. Let's listen. Ah, no, Rene, I can hear you. Veo que si tiene el micrófono encendido. Pero no le escucho. No, sir, I can hear you. You need to check what's going on because with this, it's like the third class that I can hear and I miss your participation. Let's go with, okay, Mayrene. Hello there, Mayrene. Okay, you are Kayla. Usted va a ser Kayla, all right? Action. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, evening class. Um, estoy un poco enfermita. No me había podido conectar. Yes, I noticed that, girl. No se preocupe. Voy a notar eso. Me dice si puede participar y si no, pongo a alguien. Sí, right? cómo no. 
Excellent. Action. Oh, look. There's telling contents OS. Saturday, let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Really well. Oh, oh thank you. Eh, Disculpe. <laughs> All right, continue. No, no soy yo. <laughs> no, it wasn't you. <laughs> me acabo de conectar. Ah, se acaba de conectar. Eh, continúo. Yes, yes, continue, please. <laughs> um, oh, thank. Well, you can do. You can. Ya me perdí. Ah, okay. Oh, no, I can't sing. I'll... At all. At all, at all, but I can play the piano. Yes, I can. I can play the piano. Excellent, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, Alexis. Your microphone. Uh -huh. So, so baby, so babe, maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Excellent. Bien confidence, my Rene. Yes, like confidence, <laughs> right? Excellent, Alexis. No okay. mistakes with your pronunciation, pronunciation either. Very good. Now, guys, let's check the following. Let me see. Nerio, are you there, Nerio? Just to check. Yes, okay. Usted me va a ayudar en esta parte, Nerio. Primero lo voy a hacer yo y después le voy a poner a usted a practicar, ¿ok? So, I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. Miren, todos los subjects los estoy utilizando con, una so con two sentences. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. ¿Qué sucede con esto? Vean, para que a mí no se me haga tan difícil el decir at all, at all, yo no hago pausas. Digo, we can't sing at all, all right? Sing at all, at all, all right? At all. La T, no voy a hacer mucha pausa en la T, all right? Eso les digo para que no se les complique. Si ustedes lo vean bien, seguir con at all, sigan así. Pero si no se quieren complicar, pueden decir, we can't sing at all, all right? Y va a ser correcto. Teacher. Yes. Y esto que, que menciono ahorita se puede hacer con todas las oraciones cuando se nos presente el at. Yes, el at all. No, o... hay, que, no hay que pronunciar la T. Uh -huh. Exactly. Se le va a hacer más fácil. Es como okay. el, el do. Recuerdan que tenían que unir el do con el subject. Así pueden hacer lo mismo. Do. Uh -huh. oh, ok. Thank you, teacher. Very good. Excellent. All right. Now, let's. let's get... otro ejemplo de eso? Mm. Mm, at all, déjeme ver. El otro que vi por ahí, Che, fue el de But I. But I. But I, ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, esta es una union that you can make. Creo que fue Raquel, right? <coughs> sí, sí. But I, all right. Pueden hacer esa union del but con el I, pero creo que Mayra, usted fue la que preguntó a la Mayra, right? Creo que, no sé si quería con el at all, pero ahorita Mayra no se me viene ninguno a la cabeza de at all. Otro ejemplo con at all. Pero si lo encontramos, yo le voy a hacer saber, ¿ok? Si encontramos otro por ahí. Hasta ahorita, solo el que mencionó Raquel, del Brian, el do you, que ya saben que pueden unir el do con el subject, y este at all. Que no hagan mucha pausa para que no se les complique. Mm, let's continue. Nerio, please, tell me the practice. Ahora le toca a usted practicar, Nerio, please. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can sing at all. We can sing at all. They can sing at all. Bravo, excellent. Very good. Now you see, it's less complicated. Así es menos complicado. Bravo, Nerio. Now, you guys, el can... Aunque ustedes ven que tiene A, suena como si tuviera A, right? Can or can't, que sería negative, right? No vamos a decir can, 
or can't. Porque eso solo dicen mis amigos británicos. All right? <laughs> no, just kidding. Si lo van a escuchar en los British people, si lo van a escuchar en los británicos, ellos hacen mucho el énfasis en la A. Can't or can. Pero nosotros hablamos American English, so that's can and can't. All right? Now let's go with the following. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Can he sing? Yes, he can. Can she sing? No, she can't. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. Right? Now, I'm gonna need two participants. Alexis Hurtado, you ask. Usted pregunta, Alexis. Emma Rodriguez, you answer. Pero vamos a ir. Una pregunta, una respuesta. Okay? One question, one answer. Can you sing? Can you sing? I can yes, I can. You. Yes, I can. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Can you sing? Yes, he can. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. Excellent. Very good. Excellent, everybody. Did you notice that? Notaron ese cantadito en la pregunta de Alexis, right? Eso lo tienen que tener, right? Recuerden que las eh, yes or no questions, este, en este caso la del can es una yes or no questions, porque no tenemos una WH, right? En este caso, así lo van a hacer, right? Recuerden, ya vimos esto con ustedes. Tienen una elevación. Ah, no, en el nivel 1 lo vieron. All right. Tiene una elevación. En las yes or no questions, tienen una elevación. Can you sing? Can I sing? All right. Very good. Thank you, guys. Let's go with another participant. Let's go with Cecilia Romero. You ask. Usted pregunta, Cecilia. No olvide la intonation. Marvin Soriano, you answer. Usted contesta. Okay. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Can he sing? Yes, he can. Can she sing? Can she sing? No, she can't. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. Bravo, excellent, very good, impressed. Very good. Let's go with Raquel Santos. You ask Cecilia Rodriguez, you answer. Action. Can you sing? Yes, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Can he sing? Yes, he can. Can she sing? No, she can't. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. That's correct, my friends, excellent. Let me tell you on something, Miss Rodriguez. You pronounce very good this T. In este caso, el can't, si se tiene que pronunciar bien esa T, y usted lo hizo, se sigue. Excellent. Thank you. Now, let's go. ¿Por qué hice ese énfasis? Nos puede pasar como con la S, everybody, que a veces se nos olvida pronunciar la S de los plurals, right? Entonces podemos decir can, y no, aquí tiene que sonar bien esa T para el negativo. Can't. Right? Let's go with an, the last pair. Um, Nestor Amilcar, you ask. Usted pregunta, Nestor. Carla Abrego, you answer. Action. Can you sing? Repeat, please. Can you sing? 
Yes, I do. Yes, no. I can. Me perdí. Aquí está. Es que no veía. All right, don't worry. Okay. Ah, se me fue el agua, Carlita. All right. Yes, I can. Ok. Uh, excuse me. Yes, I can. Ah, ya me ubiqué. Yes. Can I sí me dijo, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Can I sí. Usted dice okay. yes. Can. Yes, you can. Así sí va. Sí. Can he sí? Yes, he can. Can she sí? No, she can not. Can we sing? No. We can. Can they sing? Yes, they can. Más fácil, yes. <laughs> no, they can't. <laughs> All right. Don't forget, you need to practice the negative. Excellent, Carlita and Nestor. Very good. Fluency and the pronunciation. Now, let's go with the last one. What can I do? Jackie, voy con las WH words, right? What can I do? Vieron ese mistake. Recuerden que para las WH words, la intonation va. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. All right? Simple answers. Respuestas simples. No complicated over here. Let's go with Yesenia Vasquez. Yesenia. Me dice estas questions and answers, please. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Jasmine, tell me these questions and answers, please. Can I sing? This one. What can I do? Y también esta. What can I do? Who, who can sing? All right, excellent. Thank you, Jasmine. Now, everybody, no, no crean que los pongo a practicar solo porque sí, all right? Porque tengo que hacerlo. No, en serio. Yo necesito que ustedes agarren esta pronunciation. Ese es mi propósito, que ustedes aprendan, all right? And I'm going to make it. Lo voy a lograr. So, guiding a structure with can or can't. This is the basic structure that we have. And Nerio, please tell me the structure. Hello, Nerio, are you there? Okay, tell me the structure. Dígame la estructura. Subject plus can or can plus verb plus complement. That's correct, my friend. Thank you. All right. Subject plus can or can't plus verb plus complement. Esta es para una oración normal. Si quiero hacerla positive, ¿qué utilizo? Si quiero hacerla afirmativa o positive. ¿Cuál auxiliar voy a utilizar? ¿El can or can't? Can. 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 Um, Very good. Y like si la quiero hacer negative, utilizo el can't. All right. Miren, les voy a hacer una, un paréntesis over here. All right. Van a notar ustedes que en la third person, en la tercera persona, no va a variar el verb. No cambia. Eh, déjenme ver. No tenemos una por aquí que la conteste. Aquí está. Ok. He can sing very well. Notan ustedes. Ustedes ya conocen que en el simple present you gotta change the verb. No es que lo van a cambiar, sino que le agregan una S. Right? Let's pick up the pace. Lleven el ritmo que yo voy aquí en la explanation. Usualmente en el, en el verb que ustedes utilizan en la third person singular, agregan S o ES. Or anything else, right? 
Y si es regular, lo cambian. Pero en este caso, ya tenemos el can y ese actúa como un auxiliary. All right? El can es para ability, pero también ejerce la, el auxiliary. Entonces, yo ya no voy a cambiar el otro verb, el que le sigue. All right? Es decir, ya vamos a ver con los guiding examples. Let me know when you're finished copying the structure. Me confirman cuando terminen de copiar la estructura. Ya, yeah, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Guiding examples. Number one and two. Mayra, please. My father can sing very well. They can dance. I can swim. I dance. Thank you, Mayra. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Don't worry. No se preocupe. Let's go with Nestor Amilcar, number three and four, please. I can swim and dance, but I can't sing. Four. Patty can speak English, but she can speak French. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Notice was. What I was telling you before, lo que les estaba mencionando anteriormente, right? Ya a mi verb, yo no voy a decir I can swim. No, en este caso es first person. Vamos a ver aquí. Patty can speak English. Yo no voy a decir así, right? Antes decíamos Patty speaks English, all right? Ahora ya no. Yo tengo el auxiliar y lo utilizo, el can, the possibility or ability. So, por ahí escucho un micrófono abierto. Let me check. Sí, ya lo encontré. Now, let's continue, guys. Eso es una de las cosas que les quería mencionar, right? Para, es, es más fácil todavía. Es como con el uso de los auxiliaries, do or does. Cuando ustedes utilizan el does, ya no hacen uso del es, right? Let's check number three. ¿Qué sucede en number three? Tengo un but, puedo hacer uso del but, right? Porque a veces hay cosas que no las podemos hacer. So, I can swim and dance. Si hablo de habilidades, puedo nadar y bailar. Right? I can swim and dance. But I can't sing. Entonces no puedo cantar. Right? Now, based on this, I see that some of you are taking notes. So, I'll be waiting. Let me know when you're finished. Me dicen finished cuando terminen de tomar sus notas. Now, let's check the other structure. Guiding a structure for questions with can. Así como con el do y el does, ustedes pueden hacer preguntas, también pueden hacerlo con el can, right? We got can plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's listen to Cecilia Romero. Tell me the structure, please. Okay. Can plus subject plus verb plus complement plus uh, interrogative comments. Question mark. Question mark. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, everybody, take notes of this structure. Tomen nota de esta estructura, please. <laughs> Finished? Yes, finished. 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 Very good. Thank you. Um, Emma, please tell me the first guiding example. Can you perform at the party? Exactly. Can you perform can, at the party? Can you jump high? Mm -hmm. 
can Marcos run fast? All right, thank you, girl. Now, perform is actuar, all right? O, sí, actuar en una fiesta, en este caso. Puedes actuar en una fiesta. En esa actuación entra también el cantar, all right? Hacer una participación, by Perform es una participación que ustedes hacen, like, perform. Cuando ustedes hacen una conversation, you are performing for me. Ustedes están haciendo una participación o una práctica para mí, all right? So there you have it. Let's check. What do you notice in this structure? You are going to start with can, all right? No nos olvidemos. Vamos a iniciar con el can, right? Luego hago uso de mi subject, and then I use a verb. Performed es un verb, all right? Jump es un verb. Run is a verb. At the party is my compliment, all right? High is my compliment. Fast, it's my compliment, all right? Now, let's check this one. Practice time. Let me listen to um, Raquel Santos. Tell me the instructions, please. Work individually. Create, create one sentence in affirmative with can. Create one sentence in, a neg in negative with can't. Create one question using can't. Excellent. Very good. Now listen, because of the time, and I know that you need some time to work on this, this practice is gonna be for tomorrow's class, all right? Para la clase de mañana vamos a hacer esta práctica. Before we leave, antes de que nos vayamos, no olviden, para mañana vamos a trabajar en esto, así que no necesitan hacerlo como homework, porque yo sé que ustedes trabajan. So mañana vamos a hacer una affirmative, una negative, y vamos a hacer una question con Ken. Otra cosa que quiero mencionarles, Esta semana tienen que finalizar ustedes la section five y también el examen, the final exam, all right? Entonces, as a matter of recommendation, como una recomendación, les sugiero que ya vayan terminando esta platform, la sección cinco. Mañana vamos a continuar con lo que nos falta de la section five, que ya es bien poquito, all right? Se termina como en media hora y después vamos a continuar con el final exam, así que, no se pierdan la clase de mañana y también al jueves, porque vamos a tener double practice on Thursday. All right? All right, everybody. That's pretty much it for today's class. It has been a pleasure to be with you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Tomorrow, Bye. 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 See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.